Welcome back to Ta-da! 3D Printing. Okay, so now that I've finished the MK3S to the MK3S Plus upgrade, everything on the extruder is done, but I'm having issues with the filament sensor working at all. The printer itself will print, and I was able to get the Z offset level just by doing a print and adjusting it a little bit, but it doesn't know whether it has filament or not. And I don't think that that's gonna work when I have the MMU set up because I would imagine it needs to know if things are loaded or not. All of the instructions on the upgrade said that I needed to have the new red sensor, the new red filament sensor. So I ordered that and I'm gonna swap out just the sensor and see if that's enough. I'm kind of thinking my old sensor just wasn't working co correctly anyways. I don't know if everybody would need to do this or if it was just my sensor that had gone bad. I'm hoping that this is just a quick fix. If not, I do have more troubleshooting things that Prusa support gave me, but I'm hoping that I can just unplug one and replug the other one. Also, I did ask if I needed to change out the cable and they said no. So, I mean, of course, if the cable's bad, that's its own thing. But if it's just actually the filament sensor that's bad, I can swap out that without having to take everything apart. I can just leave, leave the cables as they are and just um, swap that out. So, first thing I'm gonna need to do is take off this cover. Then I need to unscrew this little baby screw here. Hopefully not lose it. So this is the package that I got from Prusa and I ordered a just the new filament sensor and I figured since I was already getting a package they also had the fan shroud printed in either ASA or ABS I can't remember which. So I have the new sensor, I have the cable, and then I have the fan shroud. Okay. I want to be I want to be careful with this, and I'm almost feeling like I want to wear gloves or something with it because I just really don't want to mess anything up on this on this go round. Okay, so there is a little spot that I need to push down to remove it. So this is the old one. And since I'm not gonna be replacing this one, I'm not too worried about touching this one. Or I'm not gonna be putting this one back, so. Okay, let's see if I can manage to get the new one plugged in without touching it too much. Okay, this is the new one. Now I have a red sensor. Well, let's see if that was enough. Okay, I need to put back the cover as well. So of course, I'm going to be putting it with that open spot there where the sensor is. Oh, I'll go a little bit quicker. Okay. Now I can plug it back in and turn it on. Okay, so I need to load filament first. Um, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and turn the filament sensor on and see if it notices right away. We'll have everything on. Mm 
Now we can do auto load. Hmm, I don't feel like it's catching. Turn the filament, or at least the auto load off. But the filament sensor is on. And load PLA. Now, what I want to see is if it'll let me do a first layer calibration. Yeah, it's still saying, please load filament first. Okay, so I need to do some more troubleshooting. It was not just the sensor that it was not the most up-to-date or that mine was faulty. I have something else going on, which is fun. First step on the troubleshooting is to make sure that the cables look correct. Okay, so I need to look and see how my cable is plugged in. And it looks like it's not plugged in correctly. It looks like I have it on the top, not the bottom. So the picture on the left is what it's supposed to look like, and the picture on the right is what mine looks like. So mine's plugged in on the top, which is incorrect. So I need to unplug that. And redo this and of course you're not going to, be able to see anything while I do this okay I don't know if you can see that but it's where it needs to be now yeah you can see the pins along the top that's where it needs to be now I have changed the way that the plug was on the back for the sensor and now it's time to see if that fixed it so I need to go back to my support, sensor info, now we're at the correct screen and it's showing zero. So let's see what happens when I put the filament in. It does change to one. It looks like it's triggering correctly. That was my issue the whole time was it just was not plugged in on the electronic side correctly. So now that that's fixed, I can move on to assembling the MMU3 onto the MK3S printer. Let me know your thoughts. If you think I missed anything, thanks for watching.